two, three, four, five, six. Nice girl. Have our plus side and our negative side. Let's remove this. Once again, one little screw. Here's our positive. Here's our negative. Ba -ba Bam. All right, so here's the ultimate goal. We have our 12 volt outlet. We got this for $8.95 at Walmart. Waterproof. Wires labeled. The ultimate goal is to get this puppy, the HTC Droid Incredible Phone, GPS, of course a phone, mapping, email, multimedia, Facebook, whatever you want this phone to be, it is. You can even get Viagra emails on this phone. That's the ultimate goal, to get this powered on a Honda Ruckus with our 12 volt outlet. That is the dream. I think we can do it. Alright, so it just so happens that we have a 12 volt charger. Alright, so there's our USB end, there's our 12 volt end. There's our phone. Thinking of mounting it here. This looks like a good location. Or maybe behind this thing. Okay. Yes, it does fit down in there. Alright, that should work. Now it's just a matter of drilling a hole. And this is going to be an adventure. So we're going to stop. Uh, there's already slats in there, so we fed the wires through the slats behind the headlights. And we'll see if we can fish them out on this side. Now we're just going to temporarily remove the battery. Alright, so we've got our wires that are going through the slats battery back okay several hours later here's what I ended up doing here's your 12 volt external outlet it's just sitting here hanging loose that's okay we'll fasten it later to the frame or whatever but you got the gray wire which is the the plus wire that's coming off of that external 12 volt that goes into a fuse thing I'm not even sure I did this right I'm a total amateur but you've got a, uh, a fuse here, so to whatever to protect. I just kind of twisted the wires together. Goes into the switch box. The switch box I wired into the bolt here, underneath the bolt. It was complicated, but I got it to work. On the other side is the negative the black or the in this case the white wire they make it white this comes from the 12 volt external we'll plug in this meter tester and there you have it the red and the yellow are lit up if you can't tell now again I'm a total amateur if this works I'm a genius the HTC droid incredible will be powered from the battery of the Honda Ruckus and we will ride around Southern California like we own the motherfucking place. Take him out. Watch him out. Watch him out. Stay. Open. Ice cream. Nice 
Okay, so we got our case back on. Now let's test out the new outlet there with a Okay, it works without even the uh, without even the ignition being on. That's good news. So this should work. If it works for a radar detector, it should easily work for a droid. HTC Droid Incredible Phone. We're going to cruise around Southern California like we own the place. This is Michael Patton reporting live from DogTV.com. Alright, so here we have the final piece of the puzzle. We've got our charger mounted right there. Messages. So here's our mobile charger for our Droid Incredible. Showing that it's getting juice. We can see that the phone is indeed being charged. What we have here is a radio, a web browser, an email client, a GPS unit, maps. It will search by spoken word or by text. Basically, you could live off of this Honda Ruckus and this phone. You could travel the world, or at least the United States and North and South America. And you won't have to worry about the battery running out of your HTC Droid Incredible. Yeah.